Hey everybody, it's Ricky to here again with Airgun Web and Airgun Web TV for Airgun Pro Shop. And today I'm gonna to walk you through how to get your new Umarex Gauntlet set up and ready to go. So I had a customer call me up and he's got an armadillo problem. He says, Rick, I gotta clear these things out. Now I cannot shoot firearms in city limits, but the police said, go down and grab a pellet gun at Walmart, which he did. And that's not effective at all. In fact, he wants something that's gonna put these little critters down. But he didn't want to spend a ton of money, so you really got to look at a PCP, and then you're looking at a tank or a hand pump, and that's not going to work. So we really kind of came back around to the Gauntlet High Power combined with the Nomad 2 compressor. Now, granted, this is you know $800. The gun is 450-ish or so. Um, we did a you know our standard package bundle for him, and of course we put it all together as well. We kind of do all of that at the pro shops so that when he gets it out of the box, he's gonna be good to go. Now it is raining, so please forgive that if you guys are hearing it on the audio. Can't help that right now. So I wanna kind of walk you guys through getting this set up and ready to run. And the first thing we need to do is really talk about how the Nomad is gonna fill this rifle. So first things first, I'm sitting at right at about 1500 PSI. So we gotta bring that up to 3,000 PSI, and I have set my shutoff pressure to 3,000 here, but before I start, where's my oil? Okay, we're gonna add some pure silicone oil to the oil port here. You cannot use anything but pure silicone oil, so do not use anything else. It's gotta be pure silicone oil, or you're gonna ruin your compressor. Okay, now it says use two to three drops every five or so fills. You guys have heard me say it. Follow the manual, do what that says. In my environment, I need to do it a little bit more because it's super dry, but you guys make sure that you follow the instructions. Now, today I'm running off an inverter that's hidden back there somewhere. You can run 12 volt or 110. Right now, I'm gonna run 110 off that inverter. The minute you plug this in, you're gonna get the converter noise. That's firing up, that's a fan in here, keeping that cool. Now, I'm gonna turn the, the unit on. That's the compressor fan. That's actually the cooling fan down here. See the light glowing underneath? I'm gonna turn that off, we don't need that on. There it is. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is hook this up to the gun and begin charging. So I'm gonna take the stop out, make sure the bleeder is open. Gonna hook that up, and then we're gonna start the compressor and get it running. Okay, bleeder's still open. I'm gonna shut that now. We're gonna start making air, and I'm gonna start the timer. We'll be back when this is all done and I'll let you know how long it took. Okay, so that took about seven minutes and 45 seconds to finish topping this off. Uh, not too bad, this is a larger bottle so you have more volume you're trying to fill up. And one thing to remember, it really shouldn't take that long if you keep an eye on your pressure gauge. So this bottle is regulated to about 2100 PSI so you really don't wanna shoot below that 2000 mark because you're gonna fall off the reg, you're not gonna get optimal performance. All right, so the next thing I wanna show you guys how to do is how to load the magazine. This can be a little bit confusing if you haven't done it before. So I wanna kinda of walk you through those steps to make sure you, you actually load it properly because if you don't, you could jam things up and kinda of make a mess of it. So let me show you how to do that. We'll be right back. So this is how you do it. You're gonna push up on this clear plastic cover and rotate it all the way around until it locks into place. Let's do that again. You lift this up and rotate it all the way around until it locks into place. Then you take one pellet with your finger blocking the hole in the back, 
you're going to drop that pellet in the hole. Now you're going to release this cover and as you go backwards you're going to load in pellets along the way. Okay, now there's eight shots per magazine. We're gonna go ahead and cycle those through because I wanna show you something on that front as well. So here is your safety. That's safety on, that's safety off. Cock the gun, lock it in the loading position. Load your magazine, close the bolt, put on your safety. Okay, so now the safety's on. To fire, we're gonna go ahead and put the safety off and gently squeeze the trigger. Okay, now to cock the gun, and this is super important, you put your thumb behind it, pull back hard until it clicks. There are a lot of times that people new to these guns don't get it back all the way, don't actually engage the, the mechanism, and they're just loading pellet after pellet wondering why the gun won't fire. Let's do it again. Thumb behind it, pull back hard, push all the way forward. Pull back hard, push forward. There it is, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and load that magazine again. I wanna make sure you guys really understand how that works. Okay. Open up the bolt, make sure it's in the locked open position. Pull out your magazine. Again, this plastic plate. If you're looking at it, you're gonna go clockwise with that plate, okay? So go clockwise till it locks into place. Take one pellet, put your finger behind the hole, drop the pellet in so it doesn't fall straight through. Now begin bringing that plate back counterclockwise to fill in the rest of the holes. Close it up, and there you go. Load this up again. Okay, once I push this forward, the gun's ready to fire. This is where you wanna put your safety on, okay? I'm gonna run some more shots through it here. All right, so take safety off. Pull back, make sure you put your thumb behind and pull back hard and then push forward. Pull back hard. All right, and we're out. Lock it into the open position. You can go ahead and remove your magazine. And if you like, you can decock the gun and leave it in a safe condition. So that's how you're gonna run your gauntlet. You know how to fill it with the Nomad. You know how to load the magazine. That can be super tricky if you're new to this. And you know how to operate the gun. Key points to remember. When you're starting their Nomad up, make sure your bleed valve's open, make sure it's run for a few seconds, then shut your bleeder and start filling your gun. On this, make sure you don't shoot below 2,000 PSI. Remember, the reg is set to 2,100. So if you're at 2,000 PSI on your bottle, you're already below the reg, just stop and top off your gun. When you're cocking it, super important. Get your thumb behind, pull back hard, give you that leverage. Make sure you feel it fully engaged and hear it fully engaged, and then drive your pellet home and you're gonna be good to go. If at any point when you cock this and, and you go to pull the trigger, nothing happens, cock it all the way back, drop your bolt into that open position, pull the magazine out, drive it home, fire it, and then go ahead and put your mag back in. Because if you jack another round in, you can wind up putting two or three pellets down the chamber all at one time. That's not good for your gun. 
So definitely double check when you're pulling that back to get all the force you need to make sure that that is truly, truly locked and ready to go. Guys, that's gonna be it. I hope you enjoy your gauntlet if you choose to get one. These personal compressors are awesome. This is one of the ones we sell. Really like it for this kind of a setup. Guys, my name's Rick Utzer here with Ergon Web, Ergon Web TV for Ergon Pro Shop. Thanks for watching.